How you doing? It's time to do it again. It's a lazy man's recipe. Kind of rhymes too. It's uh, what is it? Lazy man's spinach and clams. <laughs> I came up with that myself. All right, so let's get ready. Uh, we are going to do a very simple recipe. It's going to be a short one today. But before we get started, I just want to tell you, I found one of these. Uh, I was at Walmart and I found one of these beer chicken things where you put the can of beer uh, on there and then you put the chicken on top. That means that I'm getting all geared up to do my grilling episodes. We are this close to a grilling series of three in a row. So get ready for that because summer's all over us. It's exciting. So we're going to kick it off with some beer can chicken. That's what it's called. Couldn't remember what it was. So anyway, we'll do that later. Right now, let's get you in close and show you how simple this recipe is. So I got this recipe from one of my viewers. I have not tried this yet. And I just want to thank you guys for all these great recipe suggestions. Uh, he even called it a lazy man recipe, so I'm going with it. But you can do fresh stuff. It does not, it's not as easy to do if you use fresh spinach and grate your own Parmesan. But uh, you can make all this stuff fresh if you'd like. In the meantime, I'm going the lazy way. So I got some Parmesan. I got frozen spinach. I got some linguine. I got cream of mushroom soup. Got my clams, you can do whole baby clams, you can use chopped clams, anything you want. We just use a smidge of milk. See, right here, there we go, milk. And that's it. All right, I got the water boiling. Put the old linguine in. Now you don't want to break the noodles, so what I do is I just I fan it out and I slowly work it in, let it get soft in the bottom. Just wait patiently. Let all the pasta soften and gently get it all pushed in. Then when it gets to where you can't touch the pot, you just gently put your spoon in there. Here's another great tip. Just put a drop of uh, olive oil in your water. There you go and mix that oil in with the water. Helps keep the noodles separate. You can also use salt, I heard. I don't know if that, these are myths, but I've always done this, so. And it's always worked for me, so I've been pretty happy with it. Okay, when it's done cooking, turn the water off. Take it over to the sink, drain all the water out, and bring the macaroni back in this pot. I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, now. Here comes the lazy part, my favorite part. It's where you throw everything in together. It's awesome. Okay, I'm about ready to put the clams in, but if you don't like clams, use chicken. Cube up some chicken, brown it off to the side, make sure it's pre-cooked before you put it in here. Okay? There we go. I love clams. Put as much as you like. Put your spinach in. There we go. Cream of mushroom. Splash of milk. Just keep it on the side in case it gets too thick. You'll want to uh, hit, a little, hit it with a little bit more milk. Parmesan cheese. I'm not going to use it all. I'm going to save some for later to top the dishes off with. So put this off to the side. Get your flame back on. You're going to bring this all together again. You're going to mix this in with the pasta. Some of the water will come out of the spinach. The milk's gonna help thin it out a little bit. If it feels like it's a little too thick, put another splash of milk in there. But let's get it mixed up first, then we'll take a look. I'm gonna put one more splash of milk in there. And remember, the other trick is, if you have too much milk, you can always cook it down a little bit. So don't ever worry about your liquids. You just wanna make sure you don't burn anything. You wanna loosen it up just enough to get it all blended and all heated up. Keep mixing it, heat it all up, make sure all the spinach is incorporated. Once you feel like it's all hot, take it off the stove and get it ready for serving. Okay, it's all hot and incorporated, so just put it in a serving dish and get ready to chow down on this. Wow, that was flipping easy. 
Here's a bowl that my mom bought me a long time ago when we were kids. Each one of us boys got one of these pasta bowls. Not that we filled it, but it's a great serving dish. I've had it since I was a kid. I love you, Mom, and I miss you. And this one's for you. So let's put this in the dish right now. Here we go. You could even see when it came out of the pot, it just kind of had the stringy cheese and everything. It's just absolutely beautiful. And then just to top it off, a little more cheese. There we go. Now, I'm not gonna sample this. I gotta go grab my son. He's gonna try this, a little bit too much carbs for me, but this is a dinner for, I would say, six people. Uh, the recipe below. Depends on how much you want. I would put uh, maybe some garlic bread next to this. I would put another, another I'd put a salad, another vegetable dish next to this. There are so many things you can do with this. This is gonna be the main dish. Or you can have a little tiny bit of this next to a steak or some pork chops. Absolutely amazing. Okay, dude, now I've been slaving over the stove for 14 hours to make this ditch, so you better love it. No, no, don't. Get your hand out of there. All right, seriously. Hey, wake up. You ready? Yeah. All right, so I put a little sample out for you. Okay. Do you even know what it is? Uh, it's clams, spinach, and noodles. Uh, clams, spinach, noodles, and some Parmesan cheese. No, 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 just take a little bit. Don't put the whole thing in your mouth. Still gotta be dad. Don't get all over the place. No. Lean forward. Oh, it might be a little hot. <laughs> totally singeing my kid's mouth on the show. I'm sorry, what is that? Child Protective Services are on the phone? <laughs> Dude, mm. seriously. Will you tell them how it is? Um, Stop picking the clams out. It's good. It's just good? I mean, it's great? Really good. Like you want a whole bowl of it? You love clams, though, don't you? Mm -hmm. It'd be good with chicken, too, huh? Mm -hmm. Piece of chicken. No, 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 no. Get your hand off the plate. Really no, hot no, this is mine. No, I'm not eating this. Okay, so there it is. Uh, what? Stop, stop. Dude, you can go now. Okay. Thank you. Love you. Miss you. <laughs> go. Oh, no. Out. <sighs> so annoying. And you guys want him on every episode? Are you serious? Love you, dude. All right, so he's back to Xbox Live again. And I now am going to serve this up to my wife and maybe invite some friends over. This is awesome. Lazy man spinach and clams. Enjoy it. And be ready because the grilling series is coming. I can't wait. I'll see you on the next episode. Take care. I'm so excited. It even kind of rhymes. It's lazy man's... Oh, God. Can you tell him to be quiet, please? It's crazy. Here I am slaving in the kitchen. My son's in the other room playing Xbox Live. But let's run down all the ingredients. And if you want to do fresh stuff, it's... Oh, stupid plane. Hang on, plane going by. Ugh.